To keep the blood flowing along all these arteries, there has to be a very efficient and reliable pump. And of course there is, the heart. Let's look at how the heart works. Blood coming from the lungs first enters this chamber called the left atrium, while blood coming from the rest of the body enters the upper chamber on the other side, called the right atrium. There are valves between these two upper chambers and the larger chambers below. This chamber is called the left ventricle, and this is the right ventricle. When the valves open, blood flows from the two upper chambers into the two ventricles. The next thing that happens is that the muscular walls of the two ventricles contract, squeezing the blood through another pair of valves. Blood from the left ventricle flows out into the aorta, the main artery leading out of the heart to the rest of the body. From the right ventricle, it goes out along the pulmonary artery back to the lungs. So there's a continual circulation of blood around the body, powered by the muscular contractions of the heart, our heartbeats.